morning. How's it going? I'll start terrible. My friend's hosting this party. Do you want to go with me? In the actual pre-midnight plan? Would you ever carry with you a frozen yogurt frequent eaters card? I gotta get to work. Well, there's nine punches on it. Nine punches? Gay. Super couples here. Ooh, look at you looking like a real doctor. Brock? Michelle? <laughs> So we'll all go out this week and help you find a new girl. We met up with Peter Vack, star of the MTV show, I Just Want My Pants Back. We talked about his new film, I Believe in Unicorns, which premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas. Here's what Vack and the rest of the cast had to say about the movie. I Believe in Unicorns tells the story of a 16-year-old girl named Davina who runs away from home with an older boy and soon discovers that their new life together it's not the fantasy she had imagined. Uh, you know, the film, it explores that kind of unique moment when you fall in love for the first time and it is so electric and visceral and it's all consuming. Uh, and it explores both the light and the dark side of that and how complex it is. I mean, I think it's important. Um, this is something that uh, I know uh, our, film, our director, Leah, is very... Um, is part of her reason for making the film, but it's something for young girls and guys to see and I think feel less maybe alone in their experience because I think we've all had these young relationships where we might feel over our head um, and things, and to have a film like this is a very uh, positive thing to have in conversation for young people. You, you should add, because you actually were 16 when we filmed this. When I was filming it, I was definitely, you know, in that headspace of a 16 year old where you really just, you don't know who you are and you're trying out all these different things to see what fits. And um, you know, it's a, it's a confusing and messy time. And I, I agree that a lot of the accounts of this age are, are kind of glossed over. Yeah. Well, we have a Kickstarter campaign now. And, and if you feel moved to do so, you should check it out and, and, and give, uh, give whatever you can because we need some extra funds to really bring this to, to the world. Um, and it's a great film, so uh, I advise you to at least check out the Kickstarter page. We were just talking actually earlier about how there's something so fun about this festival because everyone is very engaged in something interesting. And, and it's always nice to be saturated in an environment that's saturated with that sort of energy. I'd, I would love to check out um, everything that South by Southwest has to offer. I don't know if I have time, but um, one thing that I was fortunate enough to check out was the shorts program, which I was excited to see, which um, has Peter's um, short film in it, his own short um, Well, it's not online yet, but it's called Send. stars Julia Garner, directed by me. And yeah, there they'll hopefully will be an opportunity to see it. It's only eight minutes long, so it's not going to cost you much, really. I'm reading right now a book called Fear Flying by Erica Jong, which is very good. And then I read this book called um, Society, The End of Literacy, and it's by Chris Hedges. It's called Society of the Spectacle. End of Liter. It's a very long title, but it's very good. No, I, I just um, finished um, Brain on Fire, which I was really fascinated with. I highly recommend it. Um, it actually had that effect. No, it's, it's really good. It's a, it's a real account of this journalist. Um, it's just fascinating, and, and now I've, I've started The Hobbit. I saw the movie, and I had I hadn't ever read the books, and now I'm really curious about the books, so I'm getting into that one. And I actually just read The Marriage Plot as well, um, which also spoke to me quite strongly. So I read all the time. I think there's a similarity between literature and filmmaking, in that you're using your imagination and creating a world. And so, I and I also I love reading. Um, you know, I read. The newspaper every day, I read Newsweek, I read The New Yorker, I read periodicals as well, looking for um, films and stories to adapt. For all your young adult entertainment news, make sure to stay tuned at Rec Talk Ross and The Examiner. Yeah. Any, any cool fan experiences because of the fact that it's a Kickstarter? Has anyone emailed you or you know tweeted at you about being involved with the movie? People are just tweeting constantly. Like, you, <laughs> unicorns is, it I, it's weird, you look at Twitter.com right now and it's basically like Unicorns.com. Right That's now. awesome. Yeah, it's like everything's Unicorns are so, trending, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the trend, actually. <laughs> unicorns is the trend.com. You know, we have a uh, hundred thousand fans on Facebook. Wow, that's really, huge. Yeah, it's it's really. I it's only like have a couple hundred. <laughs> so yeah. I'm feeling a little. We have a couple million. So <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, it's like JK. You know, I, don't. I have a lot on Twitter.
Twitter, but oh, that's, you guys that, wait that's, to see. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's a new thing. You gotta, yeah, you gotta get the followers <laughs> these days. Yeah. Anything different, or are you also looking forward to the apps? Ooh, I, I'm appetizers or I have too many. Oh, apps right. right. <laughs> I'm making really lame jokes. I've been making them mostly off camera.